Carlo De Clemente, CEO, COO of Grow Green Crypto, here to showcase Grow's unique vision and mission. Everybody, please welcome him with a huge round of applause. Hello everyone, you're well, you're awake, more importantly. All these blue shirts. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Carlo Di Clemente. I am the Chief Operating Officer uh, of Growth Token, the home of Growing Green, Green Crypto. It's an absolute pleasure and an honor to be here talking to you today about our little project. Ahmed, that video was for you, by the way, wherever you are, my friend. So who are we? Uh, this is our third time attending the Dubai Crypto Expo. Last March, last November, which was my first and my second time here talking to you today. So effectively, we're a decentralized and secure green virtual currency built for the future of our planet. The Grow Green Plan is a guiding outline for the hybrid green crypto blockchain ecosystem underpinned and I highlighted that in yellow, a big moment underpinned by a planet-friendly business to create a healthier and wealthier and future for all. What a beautiful story. Creating wealth for everyone whilst doing our little bit to try and save the planet. I've just come from uh, London Blockchain Economy. Uh, going from negative one, one degree to positive 30 degrees. I showed this slide back here in November last year, uh, and also under blockchain. So I need to uh, explain to you why we do what we do. Why, why a green crypto project? Uh, I'm from Australia, if anyone didn't notice. Anyone notice? It's the accent, right? I live in Sydney, but I was born in Brisbane. Brisbane, a top of the corner where I was born, is subject to some extreme weather events. And over the last 100 years, have accelerated the past 13 from 2011 to 2022. Drought is a massive problem, a massive problem across the world. And 98% of my home state of New South Wales declared drought in the 2020. And then of course, everyone would have seen in the news, the New South Wales slash Queensland, where the east coast of Australia was literally on fire. And then you couldn't even buy a head of lettuce in a supermarket. And of lettuce in the supermarket. Beans were like $20 a kilo, and lettuce $15 a kilo, it's absolutely unheard of. So this is just a brief explanation of why I do what I do. But why, so why a business, and why a crypto business backed by and underpinned by a physical business? We're one year old, one year old. Which I think is fantastic. We heard the last panel of distinguished speakers say that 80% of crypto projects don't survive in the first three years. This is our performance for the last 12 months. We started uh, in March 1st, 2022, uh, as a token of 10 zeros. It took me learn that that we couldn't achieve our ultimate goals without without transitioning to a coin, and that's what we did in January 6th. Uh, of 2023. Now, over the last 12 months, we heard it from the last panel specifically that that there are, we're in a bear market. Make no mistake about it. And people tell me to ask us all the time, why build, why build something so ambitious within the first 12 months in a bear market? In, in my opinion, that's what we should be doing. I think I think the measure of quality of any decent good business is how they perform in the toughest of times. Do you all agree? So, we launched Grow Token Q1 2022. Shortly after that, only five days to be exact, we launched our staking and farming tools. For us, it's extremely important, extremely important for our investors to have the ability to earn passive income. Q2 2022, we announced a partnership with a member of the Dubai Royal Family. And I'm absolutely honoured today, if anyone did not see him, uh, we had the pleasure and honour of having His Highness Sheikh Goudi bin Suala Maktoum visit our booth just today. 
Uh, New Era Metaverse Partnership in line with that with that uh, partnership, the member of the Bible family. Our sustainable farming solutions we launched towards the back end of 2022, which we'll go over in a moment, launching our coin in January, soon after that our DEX. And we announced last week that we, we launched our grow blockchain and we're currently currently running that contested configuration right now. For the remainder of 2023, we have our stable coin that we're launching, which is going to be pegged to gold, and I'll go to that in a moment. Our CEX, our wallet app, which is currently in beta testing right now, and announcing some more business partnerships. So why building on the Grove ecosystem? Why am I here talking to you about building on our, on, on our ecosystem? First and foremost, our business. And I'll cover off our business aspects towards the back end of this presentation, but not too long. There's some snapshots of some of our current activities, our slot that we launched in January, and of course our new state equals when we launched our coin back in January, in which we have five, ten to be exact, five over BSC, five over Ethereum, then we've got two farming pools, earning fantastic passive rewards for our investors, which is extremely important to us. Birthkeeper Wallet, which is currently, we just literally launched it only last week to 100 members of our community. So we're testing that right now, we can't wait to launch that. But I'm here to talk to you about our blockchain. When I talk to, I'm going to put my hand up and say I'm not the most utmost expert on cryptocurrency, that's certainly not me, I, 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 I'm a people person. But when I talk to my family and friends about blockchain, well, what do you think it is? For them it's buying and selling. Like it's a very, very small path. So why launch our own green blockchain? Up there are some examples for futurethinkers.org on the potential applications of how blockchain, how blockchain can help the environment. Incentives, carbon taxes, non-profits, treaties, Energy, recycling and supply chain we all use this technology. So we are currently working with our development team on what application that we can apply to do our little bit for the environment. And then of course our CEX. Our CEX, our Graybacks, will be the, the capstone, the capstone of our project after blockchain launch. And we can't wait to bring that to everyone this year. But well, I am very excited about our stable coin, Peg to Gold. Now everyone says, well why gold? Why not, why not the US dollar? US dollar, one dollar is a dollar. But where I'm from in Australia specifically, that's absolutely not the case. We've had a very checkered past with the US dollar, particularly over the global financial crisis, uh, where we were rich above parity. We're sitting at around 63 cents right now. But gold, has a very, very steep and traditional history, positive trajectory, and is seen to be the haven during times of economic uncertainty. Price stability, safe haven, inflation, it's a hedge against that, and volatility, of course, as well. If, anyone, if anyone's seen that price of gold and its performance, particularly over our recent crisis, and everyone would know, uh, the COVID-19 outbreak. But most importantly, as the panel before that just said as well, is that stable coins have had a very, very tough 12 months. And we saw the turmoil last year. For us, proof of insurance is extremely important. So we're using Aussie Ingenuity specifically in the part with the company who have managed to take a nice physical goal. Goal will be stored in two locations in Australia, on the East Coast of Australia, in Queensland and Melbourne specifically. And the liquidity is physically in one kilo gold box into a vault and taking liquidity out is the reverse. A lot more complex than that. And if any investor in our growth stable point wanted to withdraw that gold, they actually could. Unfortunately, it's in one kilo allotments where the price that you compared to USD right now is about that $60,000. But you could physically go and pick up your one kilo of gold. So we think, we think in partnership with our Australian partners, 
uh, that gold is definitely the right way to go. And we can't break the laws in particular over the course of the first half of this year, if not a lot earlier. The growth business, our physical business, there's not many crypto projects out there that are underpinned, underpinned by our actual physical business. We have we have two main offers right now, commercial business and our in-home business as well. Our commercial farming, retail, commercial solar, and also retail solar offers. And I'm extremely excited about our container farm. And we have our first use case here in Dubai to be, to be precise, and where we've tailored the container to grow uh, a specific type of grass to feed a specific type of animal. So we went back to our engineers and said, how can we make that happen? But more importantly, back to my earlier slide where we've got half my country in drought, farmers, farmers not able to put food on the table because of flooding events, fire events, uh, and cyclonic conditions in the north of Queensland. Uh, and unfortunately, those farmers are doing unspeakable things. For suicide for one, actually, they do have the highest suicide rates in our country by far, 59% more than the national average. Which is an absolute travesty when we have a product, they have the land, they can grow in negative 10 degrees to positive 50 degrees and grow up to 6,000 6, kilograms worth of fresh produce per annum and still have an income. And of course, our, our retail, retail product, which is just about to hit our Amazon store, we can't wait to sell that. Uh, and, these are, and these are very, very, uh, very, very good looking product which you can grow inside. So it has its own LED growth system, so you don't actually have to have it inside. So imagine being in your kitchen, being able to pick your own lettuce right there, right next to you. And then of course our, our renewable energy. We've got more information coming with our partners at WA Energy in Australia again, and our virtual power plants. There's a lot more information coming on that. And then of course our portable solar offer, a portable solar offer which, which, can, which can power your tent or your caravan or even your house. And something we haven't announced just yet, that our, our container farms, they will work in a variety of conditions, but they need access to fresh water and power. So that, that becomes challenging, specifically in, in some third world countries, in particular South Africa, and uh, in some parts of South America as well, that don't have access, that require this technology more than, more than us, but don't have access to fresh water and power. So then we need to, and our engineers need to come up with solutions on how can we solve that problem of having a container farm that's truly off grid, right? So once again, working with our partners at Western Australian Energy, uh, we're already looking at retrofitting um, solar, which can power up to 20 kilowatts worth of power, but not only can it retrofit on a farm, you can use these devices to power PV vehicles, kitchens, toilets, critical equipment storage units, etc. A physical business. So why a physical business and how does that relate back to crypto? We want funds, we want profits from the physical business to benefit our investors. Since we started this project, everything we have done is for our investor. They're extremely important to us. For without them we have nothing. So build with growth is the message, underpinned by a business. GrowVex, which is coming in 2023. GrowPoint, which was launched in January 2023. Grove Blockchain, currently in testnet to be released over the course of the next quarter. Our GRVG, stable point, peg to gold, our wallet, and of course our swap system, all underpinned by our business. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of time. Thank you again for having me. It's an absolute privilege to, to be here talking to you again for the second time uh, in Dubai. If you have any questions, please come and see. We have our entire team here on the floor there. Please come and see us, ask some questions. We have to give you those answers. So again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. And have an amazing afternoon. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Carlo, for such a passionate session and for illustrating your remarkable vision and innovative mission. Everyone, please join me in giving a huge round of applause to Mr. Carlo and Grow Green Crypto. Huge round of applause.